Good morning. Thanks for joining me for this short morning flow. Let's get straight into it. Take your time, but when you're ready, we're going to meet in downward facing dog. So for down dog, I want you to place hands on the ground and spread wide through your fingers. Tuck your toes and take a big breath in. Then breathe out into your downward facing dog. Walk your heels back. Make sure you've got a nice long distance between hands and feet. Knees can be bent. I always have my knees bent because I do have tight hamstrings. Especially first thing in the morning, we tend to be pretty tight. So don't be afraid to have the knees bent and the heels off the ground. All right, take as much movement as you want. If you want to pedal out through the legs or gently twist through the hips, whatever feels good to help you wake up. Waking up the body, waking up the mind. Use your breath to do that as well as the movement. So we breathe in deep and steady. Okay, keep breathing slowly and steady. Come to stillness in your down dog. Bottom up high, hands pressed firm. Let's take a really long breath in. Calm breath out. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold over the legs, please. Feet at least hip distance apart. And if you want to ragdoll and sway, you can. Again, I bend my knees here. I've got tight hamstrings. It's safer for the lower back if you bend the knees. Okay, focus on your breath. This morning we're going to use a mantra. Focusing on a mantra to help us focus on breath and then connect to the present moment. So today we're going to use the mantra Hamsa. Hamsa. So on the inhale, sink hum. And on the exhales, just think sa, just silently flow through the mantra with the breath. And this morning, we're going to um, attribute this, basically this, the meaning we're going to give to this mantra this morning is going to be that I'm connecting to my true self. And when I'm connected to my true self, I'm limitless. I'm unbounded, I'm free, I'm strong, I'm not constrained by all the stereotypes, by all the judgments and all the criticisms, which often come from ourselves, but you're free, you're limitless, you're your true self. Okay, let's take a deep breath in, hum, calm breath out, sigh. Slowly roll up to stand with a long inhale, thinking hum as you stack your spine. Relax, shoulders back, exhale, sigh. Reaching up through your arms, big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart, sigh. Hum, reach the arms up as you inhale. Fold forward, exhale, sigh, nice and slowly. Slowly roll up again, inhaling, think hum. Exhale, sigh, relax your shoulders back. Arms reach high, hum, big breath in. Fold forward, sigh, nice and slowly on the exhale. Halfway lift, breath in, push your chest forward. Exhale, fold, drop the head. Halfway lift, big breath, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold, thinking sigh. Halfway lift, we inhale, think hum. Then step back into high plank, please, on the exhale. We will hold here for a few moments. So keep breathing. Focus on the mantra if you can. Please modify if you need to. To modify, you're going to swing forward on toes, then drop your knees. So do what's right for you. No judgments, no criticisms here. It's your true self practicing. Okay, hands push firm, heels kick behind you, belly draws in and upper back domes. Let's take a big breath in, palm breath out. All right, big breath, swing forward on those toes. We're going to exhale all the way to the ground. Please drop your knees if you need to. Baby cobra, my favorite pose, big breath down to the ground as you exhale another baby cobra big breath great for lower back strengthening 
down to the ground, exhale. Then inhale, push up onto your hands and your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your time. Okay. Long inhale here, think hum. The exhale, think sa. Deep breath in, hum. Step to the top of the mat, exhale, sa. Halfway lift, breath in, hum. Forward fold, exhale, sa. Reach and rise, big breath, hum. Folding forward, slowly, exhale, sa. Halfway lift, inhale, chest forward. Step back to your high plank. Forward on toes, you may drop knees if you need. You're going to exhale into low plank or go to the ground. Then up dog or cobra, whatever's best for your body. Big breath. Down dog, we exhale. Long breath in, please. Steady, slow breath out. Big breath in, hum. Stepping to the top, exhale, sa. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise and reach high, take a big breath in, hum. Sa, fold as we fall, as we breathe out. Halfway lift, big breath. Back into high plank. Forward on toes, you may drop knees if you need. Exhale, halfway into low plank, or go to the ground. Then cobra or up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Okay, I've got chickens outside my window looking at me, seeing what I'm doing. They want to come play. They want to do some yoga. Anyway, we're going to keep the yoga going. So we're in down dog. Hands are firmly pressed. Take a big breath, please. Breathe out. Lifting the right leg, big breath in. Heel lifts high, toes point down. Both hands pressed firm. Let's take a big breath and lift it up higher. Exhale, step forward into crescent lunge. Inhale, rise into crescent lunge. So you've got time. We break it up. The exhale, you step forward and set up your feet. Then you've got an inhale to rise. Take longer if you need longer. Okay, crescent lunge. Back knee can bend as much as you like it to. I prefer you to bend the back knee to help you get your hips and pelvis neutral. So tailbone down. Then if you can, left hip forward, right hip back so they're square. Bending the front knee. If you can maintain that, then straighten the back leg. Sometimes, well, rarely I can maintain that, especially because I've got tight hip flexors here. So do what's best for you. Remember, your true self is practicing now. Not any stereotype, not any requirement to look or be a certain way. It's you. With that in mind, let's take a big breath. Reach strong through fingers. Bending front knee deeper. Exhale. Okay, inhale. Draw your belly towards your spine. Then exhale, lean your upper body forward and reach the fingers, hips forward. If this puts any load or discomfort through your lower back, please just drop your fingers towards the ground. Totally fine to do that. Whatever you're doing with your arms, though, I want you to now straighten through your back leg as strong as you can. Let's take a big breath, reach through fingers. Exhale, bend the front knee deeper. Then inhale, your right arm is going to reach behind you. So both arms in opposite directions. Belly hugs towards your spine with a big breath in. Then let's rise into warrior two. Exhale. So the back foot goes flat. Now the right arm is in front, left arm behind. Let me spin around so I can see you. Okay. Right arm in front, left arm behind. Stretch them. Bend that front knee. Belly hugs towards your spine. Let's take a big breath in. Bend the front knee deeper as you exhale. Just one more round of breath. Hug your sides of the waist in. Bend the front knee as you exhale. Keep the bend in the front knee. Flip front palm, reverse back, big breath in. Then hands go to the ground and step back into your high plank. Forward on toes, lower into low plank or to the ground. Then up dog or comb, a big breath in. Down dog, breathe it out. Okay, steady rhythmic breathing, if you can, with the mantra. Hum on the inhale, 
Star on the exhale. Your next inhale, please. Left leg lifts high, big breath in. Calm breath out, lift it a little higher. Breathe in, lift it strong. Exhale, step it forward for crescent lunge. Take your time. You now inhale when you're ready to reach the arms high. Okay, bending back knee as much as you need, especially because we tend to be tired in the morning and these hip flexors will, might be a bit tighter. So you can bend them, bend the knee, tummy towards spine, arms reaching strong. Let's take a long breath in. Bend the front knee deep as you exhale. Another round of breath, breathe it on in. Bend deeper as you exhale. Okay, take a breath, belly towards spine. Exhale, leaning forward, fingers reach forward unless that causes anything weird through the lower back. But if it's just the arms, you know, being a bit fatigued, complaining a little bit, keep reaching them strong. Energize for your fingers. Energize for your back heel, so kick back firm as you can. And let's take a really long breath in. Calm breath out. Okay, left arm reaches behind you. Take a big breath, reach in opposite directions. Hold on the exhale. Can you bend the front knee deeper? One more breath. Try to relax through your neck and face. Then exhale, warrior two. Sweep whatever arm that is back, your right arm, and then the left arm forward. Okay, so left arm forward, right arm back. Try to keep front knee and front toes pointing forward. And we take a big breath in. Calm breath out. Bend through the front knee. One more round. Big breath. Press both feet into the earth. Bend the front knee deeper, exhale, keep that bend, reverse your warrior with a big breath in. And take your hands to the ground, step back for high plank, forward on toes. If you want, you can drop your knees and go into low plank or to the ground. Cobra or up dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathing out. Okay, let's get ready to flow. So little bit quicker but please don't speed speed through it focus on breath is is the most important thing and take breaks whenever you need let's move with breath though so take a deep breath in think hum calm breath out think sa when you're ready right leg lifts high big breath in hum step forward for crescent lunge as you exhale sa rise into crescent lunge big breath in Leaning forward as you exhale. Right arm back, big breath in. Warrior two, slow exhale. Reverse, taking a breath in. Hands go to the ground and you step back into high plank. Forward on toes, knees drop if you need, lower with the breath out. Cobra or up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Left leg reaches when you're ready with a big breath in, lift it up high. Stepping forward for crescent lunge as you exhale. Rise into crescent lunge, big breath in. Lean forward, breathe out. Left arm swings back, take a big breath in. Then warrior two, rise, exhale. Left arms forward now. Reversing back, take a calm inhale. Then high through low plank. Take your time. You can always skip if you need to. Exhale as you lower down. Up dog or cobra breathing. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. We'll do one more round. When you're ready, right leg lifts. Big breath in. Step forward into your crescent lunge as you exhale. Take time. Rise. Lift the fingers up. Take a big breath in. Lean forward. Breathe out. Stretching. And left arm back, take a big breath in. Warrior two, breathe it out. Reverse it, long inhale. Then go hands to the mat, step back into your high plank, lower into low plank or go to the ground. Up dog or cobra, breathe in. Down dog, breathe it out. Okay, left leg lifts up, take a big breath. Step forward into crescent lunge, breathe out. Rise up, 
long inhale exhale lean forward reach through fingers then we go left arm back take a big breath in warrior two breathe it out reverse take an inhale here then go hands to the ground step back for high plank Lower into low plank. Knees drop if you need to. Up dog or cobra. Fill up the lungs. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. When you're there, take a long breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. Then step forward and come through to lie on your back. Lying on the back. Let's rest for a few moments. Left hand on heart, right hand on belly. Legs can be bent or straight, whatever feels good for your body. Just a few moments to breathe and feel the heart beat. Still thinking hum on the inhale, sigh on the exhale. Using that mantra to help connect us to our true self. We're using the mantra to help connect us to the present moment. And in that present moment, we can connect to our true selves. We can see and hear a lot more clearly. And it's your true self that is unlimited, is unbounded, so much potential and strength. So see if you can stay connected to that through the rest of your day. I'm going to leave you guys here. If you do have time, take some time to move through some stretches or just lay it out all flat in Shavasana for as long as you've got. You worked hard so you deserve it. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. My name's Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.